You know, we've all got to go sometime. Sooner or later, we all give in to, to the inevitable, like Thanos. They say, don't knock it till you try it. Well, there's been one thing that I've knocked for years and never tried it myself. And I'm ashamed to say that now it's time. There he is. Look at him. It's like he's taunting me. Like he's just saying, ha ha, I was right. You got me. All right, G, it's time to do this. The Titanic data set. I have talked mad trash about this thing forever and a day, it seems like. Not really talking trash about the project. I don't hate on anybody that's done Titanic. You know, knock yourself out. My beef with this is that it substitutes for real work for some people. There are a class of data analysts, aspiring data analysts, whatever they want to call themselves out there that they're just spinning their wheels. They're in tutorial hell. They're doing fun with numbers projects. And I talk about this quite often. And I always use the Titanic data set as my example. COVID deaths, that's another good one. You've got all of these people out there practicing for the day that they get a job and never really actually working towards that thing. My beef with projects like this is that it's fun with numbers. It's you make pretty pictures, you make a little algorithm. It doesn't add up to anything. But if you want to start somewhere, sure, it's a great place to start. So Ken, if you're spiking the football on me somewhere, Alex Freeberg, you too. Luke Bruce, probably him as well. Maybe even Tina Huang, who knows? But hey, all of you, you win. I'm going to do the Titanic data set. However, I'm going to do it a little different than some other people would. Me, you know, I'm an Alteryx nerd. Now, yes, Alteryx signs my paychecks nine to five. I'm not advocating for Alteryx here today. However, I'm a low code, no code guy. From seems like from cradle to grave. That's what I'm always going to be. So I'm going to tackle this project with low code, no code tools. What should I use? Alteryx Designer, baby. All right. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to bore you by having you sit here and watch me drag all the tools onto the canvas. Here, I'll, we'll, we'll get started. Okay. I've already downloaded some of the files. So here we go. There's my training data set, biggity bam. And there's my test data set. All right, so we're off to a great start. We've got some data uploaded. You know what, let's go ahead and run the workflow. Bing, happy noise. All right, so we got a data set there. Should look fairly familiar. I'm gonna go ahead and start playing with this bad Larry. Here's what I'm gonna do. This first iteration, because I intend to make a couple of these. I'm not gonna get too aggressive with this thing and I'm not gonna make super long videos here. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to use this right here, which is the machine learning palette. Now I'm gonna go into this. The, the tool that I'm gonna be using today is called assisted modeling. Assisted modeling is awesome. It's not available for everybody. It's not in your standard Alteryx install. Uh, there is an additional, the Alteryx intelligence suite. So you gotta buy that separate. So if you're scrambling to figure out where that is, you might not have it. I'm gonna use assisted modeling. I like to call it mother brain. Why? Because it bears a striking resemblance to the big boss at the end of the classic Nintendo game, Metroid. But uh, we'll use assisted modeling. I'll show you what, what algorithms mother brain provides for me on the back end. I have not watched any videos on this. I haven't, uh, I'm not cheating basically. Why? Because I just don't care. Um, I'm not trying to win this competition. I saw on the stats there's, what is it? 1.3 million people have done this dang thing. Where's my, there it is. Okay. Yeah. Look at that. 1.3 million entrants, 16,000 participants, 16,000 teams, 60,000 submissions. All right. Well, I'm going to be number 60,550 if I can get mine in before somebody else does. You know what? I'll even go whole hog. I have made an entire repository just for the Titanic Alteryx challenge that I'm giving myself. I'm gonna do multiple iterations of this with various Alteryx tools and we'll see how accurate we can get. Um, so yeah, look at me, Kaggle, 
data science competitions, GitHub. Oh, I'm such a nerd. All righty. Or such a hacker, if you will. All right. So I'm going to pause this thing. I will be back. I'll show you the finished workflow once I get it cranking. And, um, and then we'll talk about submitting this thing and seeing what's what. Okay, so without further ado, I've got the thing built. Um, now, what the assistive modeling tool does is it gives you all of these uh, algorithms to choose from, though, and then it will evaluate which one's the most accurate. So in my case, it pulled up four algorithms. I think uh, Decision Tree was one of them, XGBoost was another, and it turns out, womp womp, XGBoost is the most accurate, came out at 82.6 percent random forest um logistic regression was another one so i went ahead and picked the um the the top dog and let that one rip the assistive modeling tool builds it out into the yeah come on <laughs> sometimes it freezes so it builds it out into the workflow and then i ran that out got myself my prediction uh using the test data set and then uh, went ahead and recorded it. TikTok. So here's the entire workflow, uh, feeding the data in. Here's the um, the whole XGBoost algorithm. Each of these transformation tools does a data science thing. Um, so we're setting the data types, clean up the the nulls or the missing values, um, selecting the features. The one hot encoding this builds the model, trains the model. And then we've got the uh, the test data set, had to impute a couple of uh, missing values there. I'll probably write in the readme on GitHub uh, the methods that I used, and then maybe we'll trim those up when we try and improve the score. But uh, so here we go. We've got a prediction that's output into my CSV file. Here it comes, and there it is. Machine learning AIS output Bellamy. So we'll go ahead and upload that thing and see what kind of score we get. All right, so we submitted the score and uh, looks like we came up with a, uh, I don't know if this this is obviously isn't terribly good, but where am I? All right, right there at basically 77% accuracy, which is at about like the 10,000th position out of 16,000 submissions. So not great. It was a 10 minute rough swag with a low code tool um so we'll we'll give it another try with some different tools here in another video uh but hey there we go we've submitted something i will upload that on the github with a brief description later on and uh go ahead and let me know in the comments what you think uh dunk on me for the uh the, that abysmal score first effort so it looks like a lot of people got a thousand here but i'm guessing they uh they maybe tried it a few times like this Yuntech here is uh has given it a few few swags but all right so there it is my first swag at the titanic competition we'll uh we'll see if we can do a little better next time semper fidelis and i'll talk to you later